Oh, I've really suffered from it. It's called Boss Baby Problems. And to tell us more, we're joined by the career expert, uh, Sue Elson in Melbourne. Sue, who thought that looking more youthful could actually do your harm, uh, do harm to your career? Tell us more. It's really hard to believe, isn't it? And sadly, this was happening 60 years ago at NASA, as we saw in the movie Hidden Figures. Mm. But it's one of those situations, particularly now again, where there's this huge rise in technology, where a lot of people who, as they get older, everybody looks younger, but they also realise they might not have those technical skills either. Women are often more affected by this, aren't they? Mm -hmm, definitely. And even just last year, I was speaking to an expert and he said, if you want to come across more authoritative, you need to lower your voice. And I couldn't believe it because I'm well past being young now. So you've but, got to pretend yeah. to be a man. <laughs> to be taken seriously. Well, this is what this guy said to me and I just couldn't believe it. So, no, I don't plan to go down that path, but mm. it's interesting that that perception is still out there. But that, that's entrenched misogyny there. That just seems to be happening all through the workplace. So if you do find yourself faced with this, mm -hmm. what can you do at work to help yourself progress? Look, I think there's a lot of different things that you can do. You can definitely be very aware of your surroundings. You can make sure that you're listening for those cues of what's going on in the place. Be involved in the social activities. Turn up on time, be reliable, get the job done. And try not to react if somebody says something that you find a little bit difficult to hear. And, you know, be, keep being proactive too. OK, mm. and what about some of the things we can avoid to combat this boss baby issue. Can't fix your face. No, I know. It seems a silly question, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Look, I think that if you are the young person and you don't listen to other people, if you don't ask the questions, if you don't find out facts, it's going to be very hard to back things up. If you can collect some statistics, start publishing content. I wrote an article last year and believe it or not, the people from Google contacted me and I had a, you know, they were implementing my suggestions at Google. So get mm. yourself out there. Okay. Uh, there's plenty of ways to convey your expertise and yeah ask lots of questions well let's talk about the employers though how can they stop this trend well, I think multi-age teams are really important. We've seen with the rise of TikTok, there's even videos being created with the young people applying for jobs online. And there's a lot of ways that you can, you know, get people together to ask them the questions, to get peer support, give them stretch tasks. There's lots of ways that that integration can occur and definitely give people, you know, let them remember what it was like to be young, have fun, smile, um, enjoy your time at work. I think I think those are all really important things mm. to do. Lots of good advice there, Sue. Great to chat to you as always. Thanks, Thanks so much Sue. for your time. Thanks.